Diet Coke will help you if you have a blowout. If I smoke DMT, will I lose control? Cannabis is in the drug. Eating allergy magic mushroom, they usually come back to pain. They're like, what's I use? Just because I'm very good for you. By 1980, illegal drugs were every bit as much a threat to the United States as enemy planes and missiles. Did you know that most of the drug myths we grew up being told were based on fears and not facts? I'm in the under nines. And I'm a oh, I hate this. What's up? It's that ad for drugs. <laughs> it's horrible. Well, drugs are a big problem. Where is the hell out of your father and I? How come? Do any kids at your school do drugs? Yeah, I suppose. Well, that's why. What would you say if someone offered you some? That's a good point. Right. What would you say if someone offered you some? I'd tell them no. Never know what it could do to you. Propaganda from the Just Say No era that fueled the war on drugs. Harm reduction has been part of Australia's drug strategy since 1985. Harm reduction is about promoting health and empowering our peers with credible, non-judgmental information so people can make informed choices. It's about changing the narrative to just say no. Because drug use is criminalised, governments, researchers, even people who use drugs don't know exactly how many people use drugs. Only a tiny percentage need treatment, and most people keep their use a secret. The best data we have shows about 9 million Australians have used an illegal drug. Since there's no commercial quality control of an illegal market, though, you can't really be certain of what you're getting. You may as well be having a random floor score, which about 18% of people who've used an illegal drug have admitted to doing. There are peer-based harm reduction organisations around the world, tailored to the nightlife and festival scene. If you use drugs, it's important you know there are general harm reduction measures you can apply to reduce your risk. Consider set, setting and drug, like you're doing a risk assessment. You, the human consumer, you're the set. Your overall health in the moment, your hunger, hydration and genetic makeup influence the risk profile when taking a drug. The setting or environmental factors are an influence too. Set and setting are just as important to a drug taking experience as the drug itself. So to practice harm reduction, you have to care about yourself, your environment, and about having reliable drug knowledge. One way to reduce the risks associated with drug use is to continue to ask the questions and remain curious. Some sources of information are more supportive than others. We must not underestimate the value of peer-based education. So we encourage you to discuss these topics with those around you who you trust. We don't agree with fear-mongering, judgment or urban legends. We believe in evidence-based education. Don't be a victim of misinformation. You might want to consider doing a reagent test and try get an indication of what might actually be in a mystery baggie. But this is a very limited pill testing or drug checking option that does not eliminate the risk when you're using from an illegal market. Dancewise have a large team of key peer educators. Check out dancewise.org.au. We are a health program of Harm Reduction Victoria and have a long history in drug and alcohol harm reduction education in the state. If you still choose to use, you have the right to health. So make sure you're in the know. Have a quarter and some water. Learn before you gurn. Start low and take it slow. Be wise and dance more. Just say no.